radical relationships were plants and animals the first scientists? Must be, because what is a scientist? Scientist is somebody that learn through trial and error and then develop a relationship based on the information gathered and then on that information gathered establish what's best for all. That, after all, is what a scientist is supposed to do. Unfortunately, in our reality, that gets influenced by money, so scientists are not here doing what's best for all. They're doing what makes the most money and what will be the best for the shareholder. And that obviously will change with equal money, so we won't hold it against you scientists, but we are here talking about the real scientists that do things that is best for all, which is your animals and your plants. They, by observing the animal and the plant, you'll learn things about the reality that the plant and the animal has already integrated as themselves through experiences, through time, as scientists. They have already come to conclusions what is best to eat, how to eat it, when to eat it, uh, what is dangerous to eat, what is poisonous. They have established all those scientific facts without a laboratory. They have unfortunately paid with their lives for that and through paying for their lives for that in a way like a holocaust they have established what's best for their species. We've gone through these things through our development and we shouldn't blame those that has gone really far to bring about information and knowledge that now is used by everyone. In a way, everyone, all humans are part of the Holocaust because you are using the benefits that came from the Holocaust and genetic research where animals and humans were used. You are benefiting from it and you are using the results of the research so you are not in fact activists that stand against using animals or using humans in research. Doing that, being an activist that's against that, saying don't abuse animals doesn't really help because you need to revamp the total system radically create new relationships where these type of things are not necessary because the need for profit, the need for power, the need for survival, all of those things are removed and what is remaining is us as humans living here in dignity, participating with all other life forms as equals, establishing what's best for all, truly creating heaven on earth. If you are not doing that, dear activist, Dear vegan or dear vegetarian, you have to reinvestigate your moralities because they are certainly not in the right place. And if you are rich and wealthy and are able to have a special life, travel the world and play activist, you have to really reconsider what you're doing because all you're doing is feeding your ego as a special superhero. None of the shit you do is real. You're not the love bullies. Love has never made a difference and if love was real it wouldn't require violence. It will be realized and lived by all and this world would be heaven on earth already. But it isn't. So therefore the love that is understood and lived in this world is not real. Let's learn from the real scientists. They are in their uncountable gazillions everywhere. Animals, plants, bugs, you name it. If we would dare to observe them and live with them and enter their reality, we will be astounded at what we learn. But we're too busy making money or looking for fame on YouTube or trying to follow some celebrity, celebrity. I mean, what are you selling? your soul, your complete being to a celebrity and they are purchasing you, you become their clone are you so alone that you cannot live unless you're somebody else's clone? Come on there is so much in this reality that is not considered due to our economic system our money system, our education system and our religious system that's created illusionary relationships in the mind to entertain everyone with a fake reality while the real reality all around us is being destroyed by our incessant consumption in our search for reason and meaning a destiny we have all those answers and we are sharing it bluntly in your face if you react to the destiny message, then you know you have a problem. I mean, isn't that wonderful to have a gauge to see what's really real? 
Are you brainwashed? Just watch Destiny Material. If you react, you know one thing, you're brainwashed. <laughs> we have the medicine. Are you willing to take the medicine? Are you willing to stand as life equal in one year? Investigate destiny and equal money. We're here for you. Yes, it may not look like it because you didn't listen to what we really do. If you truly listen, you will be grateful beyond a measure that someone, a group, were willing to go all the way to help you without taking from you anything but giving to you the answer of the ultimate reality and supporting you in creating it. I mean, who else in this world is doing that? Who else, I ask you? Who else? <laughs>